I'm going to have to say that there's been a couple movies out this year with Guillermo that I've been a little fooled by because I don't dive into all the details before we go into the movie. So when I see his name attached to something, it's like, yes, I want to go see it. And then you get something like Antlers. Was it going to be the same for this one? He's not producing this time. He is directing. Welcome to another episode of the Popcorn Confessional. And this is Dave from Nerdbox. And I'm accompanied by my wife, Jen, also from Nerdbox. And on this episode, we are talking about Nightmare Alley. So fire up that Jiffy Pop and meet us in the booth. nineteen forties New York. Stanton Carlisle is on the run from his past and joins a traveling carnival. Best place to go, right? Where he endears himself to an aging mentalist, Crumbine, who is struggling with his own demons. Stanton sets out on his own after learning the craft and gets lost in his own ego, leading him down a dark path. So very well cast in movie. And I mean, it's the, pretty star-studded. It it was yeah, it was stacked. I mean, you Stan Carlisle is played by Bradley Cooper. There's a doctor who's like a psychiatrist that is played by Kate Blanchett. Who uh -huh. Zena the Seer is Tony Collette. Clem played by Willem Dafoe. Molly Cahill is played by Rooney Mara. I am going to be a little biased in this film because 1940s is something that I am very drawn to because of just the look and the aesthetics and the the wood and the molding and, and houses and the cars mm -hmm. and everything about that is just really, really great. It just draws me in. So mm -hmm. when I start seeing that stuff in there, I'm instantly kind of just sucked into the film. And I have to say, if you're a fan of Batman, the animated series, you're going to be sucked in a little bit to this, too. Because you see that stuff in that animated series and kind of just is here, too. So it's just like, oh, it's pleasing me on a lot of different levels. And with this film here, like you were mentioning, he joins a traveling carnival. Mm -hmm. The first half of the movie is a lot of character building yeah. with a lot of these characters. Because there's a lot of them out there. Yeah. And don't... Don't get confused when we say, like, this was a stacked cast and it's like, oh, but they're not all important. They're all important. Yeah. Ron they, Perlman's in it, too. He's Bruno, the strong man. Yes. He's he's the muscle. He's the, And he's also the strong man who obviously is not lifting what they say he's lifting, but we know how that goes. But, yeah, all of these characters have a significant part in the movie. Mm -hmm. It's not one of those ones where you're like, oh, it's a lot of big actors, but you don't really see them much. Mm -hmm. They it, all have significant roles. Yeah, and it's kind of a like a darker type of cinematic picture as well as the story too it's so it kind of just meshes <laughs> yeah yeah it meshes well <laughs> together it's uh when he directs and writes it's just art on screen i have to say it every time yeah so when he does that and he gets behind something like that it's just like watching a painting yeah now you get to see stanton adapt to this new life of, of being a carny Mm -hmm. and traveling and trying to forget some of the stuff in his past but as he works with the mentalist and he gets to be friends with them mm -hmm. you know he starts to see a little dollar signs and what he could do with that yeah. yeah now there's a lot of films that you'll see that usually starts at the ending and it's like oh damn it yeah. <laughs> right yeah it's starting at the ending and it's always that fake setup it's like oh my god he just died in the beginning of the movie yeah and now we have yeah. to go back and watch the whole thing yeah this has a tremendous opening too that they kind of dive into slowly over the film mm -hmm. it's not the ending no it's just a very big opening yeah. and i was like wow that was that was pretty awesome yeah so it yeah. pulls you in right away mm -hmm. yeah it definitely does mm -hmm. and as the story plays out you get to just see him dealing with his own demons and mm -hmm. escaping the carnival to set out on his own and how that just mm -hmm. kind of plays into his ego. Yeah, and he kind of, like, uh, according to his, you know, the way he tells his past or you see it in his memories, he becomes the man that he hated most. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think we said too much. <laughs> so, what, what do you rate this one? 
So I would go see this in the theater again. Really? I am shocked. I thought you were like a one and done on this one. Because mm -mm. in the theater, it's like, hey, um, so I think we should do a rating for one and done. So I was like, oh, oh it my was just, God. It was just on my mind. Uh. That's all. <laughs> it was just on my mind. Yeah, I haven't lost myself in a film like this that is dramatic since Almost Famous. Like yeah. I watched Almost Famous, and that was you know based on the sixties and the seventies and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And it's like, wow. And then I looked at the time, it's like, holy shit. Yeah, this movie's long and good. Yeah, it takes you on a lot of like twists and turns around like dark alleys, mm -hmm. and yeah, so it's and it's kind of a mind fuck too. So yeah. I would go see this in the theaters too. So that's my rating on it. And there are a lot of movies that are coming out this week. Maybe we have to skip them and go see this one again. It's a possibility because there are some that I'm like, eh. Like, it was just that good. <laughs> Not yeah. really too hyped about seeing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he's on vacation, so maybe we need the break from so many reviews. So maybe we'll just go see this one again. <laughs> They're going to see five in a row. I know. I yeah. know. Anyway, <laughs> have you seen this? What did you think? Are you going to see it? We think you should. And don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on the notifications, and share. Yes. And until the next review, which will probably be tomorrow, see you. See you.